Coming up next on YCU News, polls show more Americans are against military strike in Syria. Lebanon City's Academy begins classes and two Vermont companies have a new sustainable energy source. For more news, weather, and sports, it's time for YCU, your local view. Now, your daily digest of the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region and central Vermont. News, sports, weather, public affairs, and all that's happening in our area. The news on YCU, your local view. Good evening, I'm Rose Spillman. Thank you for joining us for this Wednesday edition of YCU News. At least one public poll shows more Americans are against a possible military strike against Syria than those folks who support any such action. Nationally, politicians will debate whether Congress should support President Barack Obama's request to punish Syria's current ruler, Bashar al-Assad. One senator representing New Hampshire in Congress, former Governor Jean Shaheen, says the U.S. must not get involved in a civil war. Says the U.S. must determine first that any action its elected leaders take is in the best interests of American citizens. Shaheen met Tuesday with leaders who will guide Congress's decision whether or not to support President Barack Obama. Obama says there is a need for action against al-Assad who is accused of using sarin nerve gas against Syrian citizens. Meanwhile, U.S. Representative Carol Shea Porter is the only member of New Hampshire's congressional group to speak against military action. Senator Kelly Ayotte and Congresswoman Ann McLean Custer urge caution first. Local politics is in the news, too, as the first Lebanon Citizens Academy begin classes. Earlier this summer, Lebanon City Manager Greg Lewis sought applications from Lebanon residents who wanted to learn more about how the city functions. Members of the Citizens Academy will meet this fall, learning about town government and public safety issues. There was no charge for the classes, only a willingness to participate and learn the challenges of city government. Lewis says when city residents, be they homeowners or renters, learn more about local government, all who work, live, or go to school in Lebanon benefit. It's a new start for two Wyndham County, Vermont companies. A new sustainable energy start, that is. The U.S. Department of Agriculture is granting over $123,000 to help local businesses to operate in an earth-friendly manner. Cow Power will help one entity, the Westminster Energy Company, to turn methane gas byproducts into energy to power the plant reports the Brattleboro Reformer. There's no denying it, it's a natural function. The methane gas released in the manure from the 1,200 cows that roam on a farm will be converted to energy. The Goodell family, operators of Westminster Energy, will use the $109,000 from the USDA to continue this energy producing method. This form of cow power ultimately heats and lights about 250 area homes. Energy from the sun will help the owners of a big picture farm in Townsend to keep making caramel candies from goat's milk. That's because the grant will allow the farm's operators to install solar panels to keep power running smoothly for the candy making process. The grants are part of the USDA's Rural Energy for America program. Big picture farm owners Lucas Conrad says the solar panels will provide enough energy for the farm's dairy and candy needs. Today, YCU News thanks our news hound and colleague, Lynn Solomon, for pictures from this year's Hopkinton State Fair. This annual tradition marked its 98th celebration. You can be a news hound too. Send pictures and news tips to news at ycunow.com. I'm Rose Spillman for YCU, your local view. Good night. <laughs>